Welcome everyone, my name is Ayush. Uh, I'm Part, and we're senior associates at KPMG, and we're here to give you our analysis of the Walt Disney Company. Hey guys, uh, now we're gonna be moving on to the introduction. The Walt Disney Company is a global mass media and entertainment conglomerate headquartered in Burbank, California. The chairman and CEO is Robert Iger, and the COO is Thomas Staggs. The president is Alan Braverman, and director is Susan Arnold. Disney's auditor is Price Waterhouse Coopers. Um, LLP. All of Disney's statements are presented fairly and follow the gap. They also maintain effect, effective internal controls throughout their co operations and overall pre uh, present their financial information accurately. They also analyze the accounting principles used and, and the estimate, uh, estimates made to see if the records are reasonable and accurate. So now we can move on to the history. Uh, the company was founded on October 16, 1923 by Walt Disney and Roy Disney as Disney Brothers Cartoon Studio. It was later renamed to Walt, Walt Disney Studio. Mickey Mouse was created in 1928, followed by many ironic characters. The, their first animated movie in 1937 was Snow White and the Sword of Dwarves, paved uh, the way for their iconic movies. The first theme park announced in 1952 to fund the park, Disney went public in 1957. Proceeding, they went on to produce many more movies, make, any, make many acquisitions, and expand their parks and experiences. Current market cap is approximately $250 billion, currently one of the largest media and entertainment companies re-owned and respected worldwide, owned a variety of parks, studios, and su subsidiaries. So these are the corporate objectives. The mission of the, Walt Disney, of the Walt Disney Company is to entertain, inform, and inspire people all around the globe through the power of unparalleled storytelling, reflecting the iconic brands, creative minds, and, and innovative technologies that make our, our, ours the world's premier entertainment company. Captivating our, our audiences is the foundation of the company, and with many subsidiaries uh, uh, they have, including studios and sport, sports network, net networks, they can reach and entertain people of all ages and gender. The current objectives are, are, are to become increasingly more environmentally friendly by reducing greenhouse emissions throughout their operations. Recently, they also focused on diversity throughout the media to include all genders, sexualities, races, etc. to appeal to all the audiences and, don't, and, and, and make feel included. They also focus on philanth philanthropy through their uh, different organizations like their team of heroes to help kids and their families. They have given $332.8 million to philanthropic uh, givings uh, and will continue to support the community and help change the lives of many. So the products sold um, are Family Entertainment and Media Conglomerate. Um, they have media networks like SPN, National Geographic, and ABC. Parks have such experiences like Disneyland and Disney Resort. Studios like Pixar, Marvel, Fox that create movies uh, while also selling products such as action figure, comic book, and clothing merchandise. The Chairman's Report. Disney achieved an all-time high record, uh, record of revenue, net income, and share value. The company continues to dominate the market through its improving technology mixed with its iconic characters and storytelling. Disney continues to expand through acquisitions like Pixar, Marvel, and Fox. The recent opening of the Disney Resort in Shanghai, China also helps expand the resort and park business as part of the overall goal to bring wonderful experiences to people worldwide. Disney is optimistic as a company and hopes to continue their success in the future. Strengths Disney is a global uh, media and entertainment giant, uh, entertainment giant recognized worldwide. As a public company and with, and with huge cash flow and profit, uh, profit it, it can easily use Easily useful investment, which will help boost their revenue and profit. Great connections and intelligent minds. It has great. It has grown tremendously and continues to expand its business in every part of the media, entertainment industry, and is extremely diverse in, in its terms of products. It has also diversified its target audience by acquiring companies such as ESPN and Marvel Studios. Its greatest strength is its brand brand recognition, and how global and how it is a global icon for everyone around the world. Due to its name, it has reached worldwide and can easily expand and grow in any part of the world. Weaknesses. While Disney has expanded to one of the largest companies in the world, it still has some weaknesses it must improve. The great, their greatest weakness uh, is innovation, movie production, and uh, park innovation. They are, they are also dependent on the demand for their content. Te technological and innovations, uh, diversification among locations. Uh, most, most of their parks are located in the United States. They can expand and dominate foreign market if they invest into the other locations. Opportunities. As a multi-billion dollar company, public, uh, public company, it is easy for Disney to raise funds for any project through the stock market. This allows them to make more strategic acquisitions to expand even further and increase their market share and power. 
It can also use this money to update technology across the uh, process operations to improve efficiency or to create more rides and sites for customers. Capitalize on social strands and diversification and uh, equality, which they have started to do uh, with Moana or Black Panther. Threats. Competition. Broadcasters versus broadcasters, such as ESPN versus Sportsnet. There's also Studio versus Studio. Uh, Marvel versus DC. Um, te technological innovation, as they do not create their own technology, they are dependent on others. Piracy it is also a threat as it, as it allows people to stream movies illegally without buying the ticket. This hurts the sales of the movies and results in less revenue and profit. Maintaining brand image and improving it through making products demanded by audiences. With licensing regu uh, regulations in media and broadcasting worldwide, they might have to spend more money to adhere to rules. So this on the screen is a horizontal analysis for the balance sheet. And this type of analysis compares the account values for previous years and it looks at the changes in the amounts of those values and the percentage change from, from one year to another. From this statement, we can see that the total assets and the equity of the business went up while the current liability decreased. This shows the company performing stronger than the previous year as they have less debt while owning more assets. This is likely due to them issuing more common stock to raise more funds for all their operations and to make new investments and buy various products that they need to run their business. Next, this is the horizontal analysis for the income statement. Similarly to the one for the balance sheet, it compares the uh, account values from one year to another. It shows the uh, amount change that happened over the course of that year and also the percent change. From it, we can clearly see that there's a significant increase in the total revenue and the net income of the current year, 2018, versus 2017, which is the previous year. This is due to the company releasing many big hits last year and returning a, a large amount of profit for each. This is a positive sign as the company is improving its accounts and it's making more revenue and more profit every year, which shows that they are able to innovate year after year and they're able to create products that, that captivate and keep the audiences interested. Now this is the vertical analysis for the balance sheet. Vertical analysis basically shows all the accounts on the balance sheet compared to the amount of the total assets. So all the accounts on the balance sheet are healthy or in a healthy um, percentage of the total assets, meaning that the company's in a good financial position as they do not as none of their accounts are too big compared to all the other ones. They're all relative to each other, which means that they're in a good position. Similarly, this is the vertical analysis for their income statement. Here we see that 21% of the company's profit is 21% of the company's revenue is converted into profit. This is a really good ratio to have as most as one fifth of their total revenue is converted into a profit that they keep. It, it also increased compared to the previous year, meaning that the company was able to have a higher margin in this year compared to the last year, which also shows that the company is improving, it's becoming more efficient, it's making better products that the audience like and it's also able to generate more profit. Now we'll be talking about um, the different ratios that are present and the ratios that we calculated for this company. So while Disney does have poor current and asset test ratios as they are below one, which means that they cannot pay off their current debts in a short amount of time with the current assets they have, this is not a major issue because Disney is mainly a company about investing. Owning a plethora of parks, resorts, and sites worldwide, it would make sense why most of their assets would be in the form of land or property. Its primary business is also not in merchandising. While they do sell clothing, action figures, comics, book, comic books, etc., the majority of their products are in the service sector, like with experiences, movies, entertainment, and media. It makes sense why their inventory would be so low compared to the rest of their assets, as their primary source of income is not based on merchandise. In terms of their receivable turnover, it is high for the industry, as their competitors like Time Warner and uh, Viacom have lower turnover, and, it, and its inventory turnover is also standard for the market. In terms of earnings per share and price earning ratio, Disney is doing really good, especially compared to its competitors who have lower values for both. This allows its investor to gain more money and also expand more into the future. In terms of its debt to total assets, Disney is doing extremely well. Since they have many properties and equipment that for their variety of services, they have a great amount of total assets. This is paired with a low amount of total debt means that most of their assets are not financed through debt. Finally, Disney's Interest coverage is phenomenal and their income far surpasses their interest payments. This means that they can easily pay off their interest payments and still have a large amount of profit left. Now we will be talking about the stock market analysis for Disney and how it's been doing for the past few months. So within a short amount of time, around mid-April, 
Disney's stock price has increased greatly due to hit movies releasing during this time like Avengers Endgame and Captain Marvel, both of which were hugely successful and greatly benefited the company and its stock price. Disney also acquired Fox in 2019 which greatly boosted its market power and its ability to dominate multiple in entertainment and media markets. And it has seen a massive jump from in, in around mid-April April, as a price rise roughly $10 over the course of a couple of days. And it con continues to stay strong at around a, a high 130s and low 140s. So it's a great investment to make and the price is going up as they, are keep, as they keep releasing new products that are very interesting and they're high in demand. Which, is, which helps them raise more profit and ultimately helps their stock price go up. So to conclude our analysis, we would say that it's a great and safe investment to make. Through the many new movies and products coming out, it will engage the customers and bring, and continue to bring its great revenues and profits. It also continues to innovate and amaze its audience with the new movies every year that do not bore audiences and it keeps them captivated and it keeps them coming back for more. It also has a great brand name due to its philanthropy and customer relations. And it has basically built itself as a company that people can trust and rely upon for great products and service. With, us, with great profits every year and highly anticipated movies coming out, Disney will continue to dominate the entertainment market. And with the different acquisitions that they, like the ones they've already made, they will attain more market power and will be able to, and be able to increase their revenues and profits even more. This will help them raise their stock prices and become more dominant as a company worldwide. So these are the sources that we use for our analysis. Thank you for listening to our analysis. We hope it has given you some insight on how, com how Disney is as a company and if it, is, if it is a good investment for you to make or not. Thank you.